Great success. I got lean crews working on my LS swap with some free software. I'll show you how to make it work. I'm going to see if I can hit 30 miles a gallon with the Beretta. And I also did the 8.1 truck. Maybe I can go from 14 to 16. And once I put the Blazer back together with that five-speed swap, I'm going to try that too, because why not? This should work for any P01 or P59 computer, like the famous 411, that comes in a Camaro, Corvette, truck, SUV, S10. There's a couple of things that trip me up at first, so I will show you how to steer clear of my mistakes, and you'll be golden. Okay, I'm flashing my lean cruise test. Let's see if this works. 69. So I got the lean cruise working. It feels pretty good. No issues with power. This is in fifth gear. I'll see how it feels in sixth. Six gear. Now that might get me some MPGs. Like 30? Let's find out. Got lean crews working on the truck too. With the big old 8-1, I think that's gonna help. So the free software here is Universal Patcher, which is good for a few different things. Uh, go to universalpatcher.net. Let's go to download here. This will pop up a download for you. I'm going to cancel that because I've already downloaded the latest version. And that will just give you a, a whole directory of stuff here. Uh, it even comes with PCM Hammer and a logging software. Uh, so here is your application. I put that on my desktop so it's easy to grab. And when you launch it, you can set it up to automatically launch. See right now we've got the launcher open and you can pick which one you want to open. Uh, or you can set it up like I had it set up for the tuner automatically and go straight into the tuner mode. So here is the tuner and I'm going to open a factory bin. So I downloaded the stock Camaro Trans Am LS1 T56 bin a long time ago. And we check this out. So if we check this out, we can find all the lean cruise tables by typing LC for the table name into the search window. And that gives us time since idle. This is blank. All the stuff is blank on the factory one. Coolant temp multiplier, engine run time, step size, fuel delta. This is your table to actually in lean it. Vehicle speed, you can see it's maxed out here. So uh, Chevy turned off lean cruise from the factory. But we can patch it in pretty damn simple. And I'll show you how right now. Let's go to apply patch from the utilities menu. And this patch, and I double click it, watch down here, it's going to apply the tables. See our tables are in. And then the next thing we need to do is add the enable. So this one enables the lean cruise, which isn't in any of the parameters anywhere, uh, but you have to do that in order for it to actually work. That was one of the things that tricked me first was I was able to add the tables in, but I didn't do this second part to enable lean cruise. So I was expecting it to give me lean cruise going down the highway, and it was still showing 14.7, and I was wondering what the hell was going on. So I'm going to do this one now. You can see that just applied the patch. So now let's go back into these lean cruise tables, and we have a qualifier here, which is 150 seconds since idle before it will apply lean cruise. I turn that down to 21 seconds because you've already got to hit a temperature threshold. So this is sort of irrelevant to me, not irrelevant, but uh, it sort of limits how much you can use lean cruise for no good reason. Here is the coolant multiplier I was talking about. 
And this sort of tricked me up on the Beretta too, because I put a 160 thermostat in it. And I was sort of on this threshold of whether it was going to enable lean cruise or not. So when we add, this brings it down to my new thermostat temp. And after enabling it here, I was totally fine. So it won't actually enter lean cruise until you're at operating temp, which is what you want. It's just that my operating temp was a little bit lower than factory because I had a 160 thermostat instead of the 187. So that should be simple enough. Uh, engine runtime has to be 150 seconds. I left that where it is, whatever. The step size is really small here. So I did step this up in mine. So I made this a 0.1. And the fuel delta, you can see we have some stuff in here now that's showing us how much fuel we're taking out. And there is a chart online. Do I have that open? No, I don't. So here is a chart online that shows uh, what this EQ ratio is. And so these numbers over here, like this 0.17, means it's taking 18% of the fuel away, which when we look in here is a 17.1 air fuel ratio. And that's sort of where... That's about the max you want to be at, I think, is 17. Some people said they've gone higher and it's all right. <clears throat> That's kind of the max I'm comfortable with. So this chart comes directly from GM and the Holden Division in Australia because they had this enabled from the factory in Australia. So this is how much fuel it's pulling out. I also made some changes in here because you can see, like, this spot is a little bit lower than all the rest. So I just sort of evened it out. Making these like smooth curves. Yeah, that all looks good enough. And then vehicle speed, you have to hit 47 miles an hour the way this is set up in order to enable lean cruise and you'd have to drop below 40 miles an hour to disable it. This I left the same too, I think. So now what you do is just save your file and we'll call this 2002 lean cruise and you're done. That's it's that simple. I mean, you got to flash your bin file uh, and all that stuff. I've got videos on using LS Droid that shows how that works. Um, but it's that simple to enable lean cruise. And then you can save some gas at the pump. I was curious how well it was going to work with the Beretta. Because it's only a 4.8 liter. Uh, it's got that really deep overdrive with the T56. Uh, and I thought maybe it just wouldn't have enough ass to keep driving. Basically with lean cruise enabled at like 1600 RPM. Uh, so I gave it a test and I was pleasantly surprised it worked really well. When I get this new fuel tank project all done, I'm going to see if I can hit 30 miles a gallon. By the way, here's a disclaimer. My Beretta is over 25 years old and my truck's a three quarter ton. So they're both emissions exempt in New York. I don't know if whatever you're swapping is emissions exempt. So it's up to you to determine if it's legal or not.